to them. We've got a lead silver building. It's going to attract a lot of conferences and conventions. Uh, that's uh, that's a tremendous asset for the city to have. Still some naysayers? Uh, there will always be in politics. You can't please everybody all, all the time, and we know that. But uh, I think the, the majority of people in this city appreciate that we've taken this initiative, and they'll uh, understand and appreciate the benefits. I know Hollis has the answer, but you might, he might want you to answer. I don't know. But when is the building going to be completely finished? The uh, building will be completely finished, Thomas. About a month. About a month. Uh, we've got 14 rooms down here. They're working on that. Uh, you know, they've done an incredible job getting this uh, ready for tomorrow night's Chamber of Commerce event. Uh, this part of it's ready. Uh, the reception area and the ballroom's ready. Uh, that's the most important part. So uh, it'll it'll be open as, as soon as they can possibly get it open. Or some of the parking garage. Open. Parking garage is going to be available tomorrow night for the State of the City address, free of charge. Uh, there will not be the signage up or anything, but we'll have people directing you, so you'll get a, at least a, a look at it. And then we're going to close it again and get all the proper signage and put the electronics in and things. Like that. Like that. Uh, probably another uh, three weeks. Yes, it will. I haven't seen it yet. Actually, I'm looking forward to uh, going over uh, when uh, when they're ready. Uh, my understanding is we'll be moving in the summer. No, uh, towards the end of the summer. How many departments at this point that will be in there? Are all the centennial buildings? I don't know specifically. But what, what I can uh, say certainly uh, it's about prov providing vision for the future and I'm look looking forward as well it's going to be interactive. <coughs> Uh, there'll be an opportunity for people to come forward with questions. And so uh, it's going to be a good evening. I'm looking forward to being uh, to the uh, state of the uh, city address tomorrow night as well, uh, to be able to hear uh, what uh, Mount Woodside has to say. Yeah, so uh, look, two outstanding events coming forward over the next two weeks, both of them sold out. And I, I believe uh, it'll provide uh, good ideas for the people in Brunswick on you know, where we're going, uh, where we are as a province, some of the challenges we have, but also uh, all that vision for the future. How do you find the overdoing for the booking of events at this new convention center? It's going, uh, it's going very well. I'm very satisfied. We have uh, over 50 events booked already. Uh, we have probably turned away uh, maybe 10 already, well, simply because the building wasn't ready when we thought it was going to be ready. Uh, uh, we tried to get it ready a lot earlier, so there was a lot of things that had moved and, and whatnot. But there's over 50. I'm very pleased. Once uh, once the building gets open, once people see it, we have con uh, conference people coming into town all the time, looking at facilities. We've really got something now to show. Can what kind of some examples yeah. of uh, who is going to come here to this facility for their conferences? No. Why? Uh, well, Kathy Pugh is the one after that. The, oh, okay. the, I mean, this, this, this conference center is, is arm's length from the city. The mayor, the members of council, I mean, you don't talk to me about what the no, prices no. are and things like that, or the bookings. No, don't, don't be so formal, Mr. Mayor. It's just, I just wanted to know if you were expecting doctors, dentists, yes. uh, of swimmers, of uh, you know, exotic yeah. dancers, maybe. <laughs> everybody's everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter if they're a doctor or a swimmer. Everybody's welcome. The facility's here to welcome. And we will. But Kathy can give you some examples. She's the one that's taking the book because I just don't have that information. Thank Mr. Allward, just a couple questions here. There has been some criticism concerning the appointment of Ms. Jenny as head of the uh, insurance cap of you. Do you support him continuing as chair? Look, uh, I, I uh, certainly am very pleased with the, uh, the board, uh, the committee that has been appointed to go forward to review insurance. It's an outstanding group of individuals, including Michelle Legier. Uh, the, uh, the group uh, is reflective of uh, all parts of the sector, whether it be uh, the industry or uh, the consumers. And I, I, 